everybody. Welcome to Outer Spaces Live. This is the May edition, and it's a weekend edition, Terry. This is our first weekend. It is, I know. Hopefully uh, you are having a nice day. Hope the weather's nice down there in LA. Oh my gosh. It's been absolutely gorgeous. It's been the most perfect day. The kids have been outside playing all day, running around. It's been like heavenly. And I love this. I really love this being yes. on a Sunday. It felt really relaxed. I had like all day to hang and just relax and gear <laughs> up and be excited for this. So I hope that everyone else is doing the same. I'm going to give all of you just kind of a minute to get situated and get comfy. Maybe grab yourself a drink, an iced tea. Join us for a minute. Um, we're really excited about uh, today's episode. We've got such great stuff. For those of you that are new and have never been to one of these amazing Outer Spaces Lives, my name is Orly. I am a TV host and a DIY expert. I have a focus really on fashion and home decor and styling videos, tons of tips for really kind of personalizing your own style and it means the world to me. And I co-host this along with Terry. Every month we get to do this. So for those of you that don't know Terry, Terry, introduce yourself to the people. Yeah. I'm Terry Lynn. I am the Chief Design Officer of Outer and uh, as my title suggests, I am responsible for all of the designs for uh, our company. And today we are, uh, like I said, it's the May edition of Outer Spaces Live. Will you tell everybody what Outer Spaces Live is as a concept? Because every month we sort of change it. But overall, what is this show yeah. all about? Yes, yeah, so Outer Spaces Live is exactly the title suggests what it is, which is where we come to you live from our backyards and uh, we talk and answer questions about all things backyard. Yeah. Yeah. And my favorite thing about it is that every single month we sort of come up with a new theme based off what's going on in the world, what you guys are all doing, where you're probably at in your life. And so this one is really cool because May just happened to be National Home Improvement Month. I mean, there's like a, you know, National Sprinkles Day. There's a national everything. But National Home Improvement Month is pretty perfect timing for us. So we've got an awesome show today. My favorite thing in every Outer Spaces Live that we do are the before and afters of real outer customers. Their space before, this sort of like barren, empty space, all of the designs, and then the final reveal. And we're going to be sharing a ton of those with you today in celebration of National Home Improvement Month. We also have a product reveal. That's another one of the sort of it's become a consistent thing here where those of you that join us that are lovers of all thing outer, just like we are, you get exclusive looks and sneak peeks at new products. So we're going to be revealing a brand new product line that's going to be coming out very soon in just a few weeks will be available. And then also the Memorial Day sale. Now, uh, Outer is going to have a Memorial Day sale and it's going to be available to everybody else in a few days. But because you guys are here, we are going to give you the code that you can use so you can have early access, which is another thing that's so great about coming to the, uh, the live streams. And then lastly, as always, I think everyone's favorite thing is the giveaway. So every single uh, live stream, we do an amazing giveaway. It is the conversation set. Now, last month we did this for the first time where we gave you guys the option to pick either the all weather wicker or the teak. You get to pick your poison, whichever one you want. And the winner, it's an up to $3,100 value, which is incredible. And you can kickstart your outer collection with this awesome um, conversation set. I love those pieces so much. So that's sort of what we got going on today. I'm excited, Terry. Are you? I'm definitely always excited. I know. I know it's going to be good. So there's one thing that I'm going to take the lead on right now because I know you are uh, far too humble to take the lead on this, but it's just too cool not to share. So a lot of you guys that are watching, if you have an outer, then you get it. You're in on the club and you know how obsessed you become and it becomes like a cult favorite that you share with everybody you know, which is great. But it's a whole nother story when the press and the media and the world at large kind of jumps on the bandwagon. And the most recent publication to post about outer gave me like the chills i got so excited vogue vogue look at this the best outdoor furniture to transform your backyard or a balcony into the ultimate summer sanctuary vogue i'm freaking out <laughs> we've been <laughs> really lucky when with you saw the press. this yeah i mean like uh it, it's certainly an honor um i always have have uh kind of focused more on uh, utility first, making sure that we're actually trying to solve something. And uh, of course, we care about aesthetics, but uh, um, it just it just kind of uh, definitely is an achievement for Outer that we've been able to be yeah. recognized by Vogue, not only for the utility, but also for the aesthetics. So it's great. Super excited about that. Yeah. 
Yeah, when I saw that, the thing that I think so cool about it is that knowing you guys and knowing the way that your design brain, wor brain works, it's really all about customer first. It's about the convenience, the ease of use, the sustainability, making sure it lasts, like all of those things that are important. And of course, design and style being your, you know, your chief job is huge. So when you get that stamp of approval by... A, a, a company like Vogue, which is very discerning, they're not easy. I think that's really a very cool thing. It kind of just proves proves that Outer's on the right track, you know, across the board, which is really cool. And then this next one, you know, is is insane. So Inc. Mag did an entire article calling Outer one of the best companies to work for in 2021. Take a look at this. It is to me, this is something. You know, I've been a sort of honorary employee. <laughs> oh, the 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 wind, uh, Terry. I don't know if everyone yeah. else is hearing that feedback, but the wind, the wind. Oh, there we go. It's a little better. Sorry, the wind was feeding back in your mic, and I. Hopefully, it's okay. Oh, my it's mic? gonna go away. Yeah, your mic was like, uh, but it's okay. I think it's gone now. So, um, Terry, I would love you to talk though for just a second about this because I know that this is so important to you when you started Outer to create a really great yeah. not only product but culture. What does it mean when you yeah. see an article like that? Uh, like I am like, again, just honored that uh, we've been able to make that list. Uh, when Jake and I started the company, uh, we knew that we really wanted to, uh, one, I think everyone has the baggage of uh, like uh, places that they've worked that they're like, ah, you know, there are good things and there are bad things. Uh, I certainly had that. And uh, when, when Jake and I were talking about starting the company, we said, okay, well, here are the things that um, I really loved about my past companies and here are the things that I really didn't love. And, uh, you know, I thought it was quite simple. It's like, we, we decided to just create a blueprint of how we wanted to be treated, not only internally as like uh, the employees, but also externally as customers. And uh, yeah. and I know, uh, Orly, when we were texting uh, a, a week or so ago talking about it, yeah. uh, I said, you know, it just seems pretty obvious that that's, that's what a company should do. Take care of your customers, take care of your employees, and uh, you know, everything else will follow. And uh, yeah. I said, it's obvious. <laughs> what did you say and back? I said, and I said, not for everybody. That's that's for damn sure. Yeah. I've worked plenty of places where it uh, the environment, not only is it not positive, but it, it sort of can, like a toxicity can take you down and it affects everything. And so I think the customers feel that positivity when they're dealing with, you know, people on the outer team, when they're dealing customer service or design consultations, being a part of these live streams, seeing you, seeing the face behind the company, it really does speak volumes. And I think it's cool for people who decide to invest in outer as being something they're going to enjoy knowing that there's good people behind it that are being supported. I think that's really awesome. So I'm glad that we got to share that with everybody because, you know, seeing articles like that, that's, that's no small feat. So congratulations. You know, I think it's really cool. Thank you. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the comments come in. Darren, Darren said he's looking at the career opportunities on the website as we speak. <laughs> Darren, join us, join the fam. It's a good crew. <laughs> we'll have a, a good story for you, Darren, in a, in a bit uh, later on. the episode. <laughs> Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, you could you could be the second to start a new tradition. So, um, speaking of one of the outer employees, Sarah Ann. You guys know Sarah Ann. She's been on the live stream with us. She is one of Outer's design consultants, and she is the one who will send us all of the before and after. She was supposed to be with us today, and unfortunately, she's feeling under the weather. But she did send over all of these amazing design consultations that we're going to go through. Now, if you don't know what this is, I just want to give you a quick explanation. The design consultations are a completely free service available to anyone. This is not only once you've been outer, this right off the get-go, you go onto the website, top left-hand corner, and you will see book a design consultation. You will end up having a design consultation with one of the amazing people at Outer who you now know are uh, have one of the luckiest jobs in the world. And basically what you'll do is you'll like send over photos and you'll send over dimensions of your space. And you'll also send over some info about how you want to use your space so that they can actually create a configuration for you. And then they'll send over a recommendation, maybe a few different layouts based off the size and the budget and all of that. And then you'll have your free design consultation. So for anyone that's watching, that's been considering it, head over to the website. Again, like we said, totally, totally free. Um, and I think right now it's time for us to get into some of these awesome before and afters. What do you think? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. What we're going to do is Josh in Charlotte, North Carolina. Now he and his husband already have this beautiful 
beautiful. And they had a patio that was like kind of not being used. It didn't really fit in with the level of everything else in their home. They really wanted to create basically an outdoor living room, an extension of the side that went outside. They felt like the, the, the set they had just wasn't working for them. The quality wasn't working. They weren't using it, but they did have this finished patio space. And so because they love to entertain, Sarah Ann created a handful of different uh, configurations for them based off what they wanted. So this looks like an eight piece. Now, the very cool thing about outer, for those of you that don't know, is that it's modular. So the same eight pieces can create all of these different layouts. And originally, Josh thought that they wanted to do the all weather wicker. And they thought maybe they'd add in some sort of fun with like accent chairs. But let's see what they ultimately went with because they made a last minute switcheroo when it came time to actually get it. Oh, they did the That's teak. That's incredible. It is amazing. Oh my gosh, look how pretty that is. It's like framed in those windows like a magazine photo. Yeah. That should have ended up in Vogue. Look at that. That should have. Wow. You know what's really and nice you know about what's so this is, uh, you know, Oh, go, go, yeah, go. Um, I was just going to say, like, yeah, just, uh, you know, uh, for the, the audience, just like if you take a look at some of the things they've done, the principles that I see are uh, like, one, they've really done, a, uh, he's done a good job, Josh has done a good job defining the space with the rug. Uh, he's he's uh, done a really nice job with the color palette. So usually when I think about yeah. color, it's like I take like a 60, 30, 10. So 60 being like the dominant color, 30 being like secondary and 10 being the pop. And you can see in the, the pop color, he's used a little bit of green. And you know a lot of that is carried through with the greenery in his backyard. So like, it's just, when you yeah. look at it, it's, just, it's so inviting. He's just done a really nice job with uh, uh, how it's been designed. And you know what I love so much about this is this is a, for anyone that is trying to decide between the aluminum, the teak, the all weather wicker. One thing that's really nice about this is the way that you designed the teak with those really cool lines in the back and it kind of like scoops, the, the seat looks like it's floating. Yeah. When you have a seating yeah. area like this that is actually floating in the center of your outdoor space and not like mine, which is up against a wall, having those design details they are like a piece of art that you're seeing from every angle of the backyard. So if you're thinking about which right. one is right for you, that's one thing to consider is where is it going and where are you seeing it from? So that if this is a design detail that yeah. you love, which you know is so gorgeous, think about that. That's gonna be one little extra element that is gorgeous that adds to the overall right. sort of appeal. So and pretty. And I think one, one thing is that you mentioned, I remember when we had your mom who's a contractor, come on. She said, you know, part yeah. of, of designing the outdoor space is that it has to look good when you're standing inside looking out because you want it exactly. to draw you in. So kind of to what you said, it's like it's been designed to look good from all angles, including the back. Yeah, I love that. I just saw a comment from Melissa Peabody saying, wait, metal, what is this new? So on our last live stream, Melissa, we revealed the aluminum collection, which is a brand new collection. It follows the lines of the teak collection but it's in a like matte black sexy metal it's so cool you gotta head over to the website to take a look it's sleek and fabulous and modern it's awesome um okay let's move on to our next one because we have another before and after that's equally as satisfying so this is laurel she lives in arlington virginia and they also had a finished patio space and for them they already had a designated way they were sort of using the space they had a dining table they had a hot tub they still wanted to incorporate those elements but they didn't really have any seating and they felt like they had no flow now this is a perfect photo to go to what you were just saying terry from the inside what are you seeing outside? That's your view. So they wanted That's to right. create something that was gonna create a nice flow so that no matter where you are in the backyard, you are gonna be able to be kind of a part of the experience, even though there are these designated zones. So let's take a look at what Sarah Ann created, uh, the CAS that she created for Laurel. So this is a five piece. And again, you can see the different ways. You could just have one large oversized L, perfect for napping in that corner. You could have a conversation set with a three piece sofa. You could have the shorter L with one sort of accent chair, all these different configurations that are possible. Um, let's take a look at how they ended up actually setting it up. Oh, I love this. I love this. this so look, they've got an armchair an armless 
and then the three piece sofa. And what's really nice about what they did here that was very important to them was that the modularity that they could change it over time. So depending on what type of event they were hosting and who was coming over, if they wanted to sort of rearrange it, they could. Oh, and that looks like That's the right. teak table with the angled legs. That's beautiful. What do you yeah. think, Terry? So, you know, the, yes, great. I was gonna say one of the things just for, uh, for those that are watching, you know, uh, if you get a five piece, you can do um, a sectional or you can do uh, what you've seen here is like a three a three seat sofa with two chairs opposing each other. And what's nice is it is configurable and reconfigurable. And then, you know, when you think about it, as you're thinking about your space, it's that uh, depending on what that utility that you want to do. So, for instance, in uh, a sectional, that corner chair is actually like a dead seat unless someone wants to lay down. So right. the way um, it's set up here, like you can easily get six, eight people. Actually, the, the sofa can easily fit four people across. Oh, yeah. Um, so the, the nice thing is um, giving you the option to be able to do that. So if you do want to go uh, read a book and nap, uh, then set it up like a sectional. And if you're trying to entertain, it's actually better to set it up like how we're seeing in this phone. Oh, that's good advice. That's good advice. I love this. <laughs> Christina just said Sarah Ann deserves a gold star. I agree. <laughs> it's really cool. I think it's really cool to see these configurations because it really does provide a good amount of inspiration for your own space. When you look at the way that the two of these came out, you can yeah. see again, the, the same building blocks can create a completely different experience and a completely That's different right. vibe. And hopefully as you guys are seeing this, you're getting some inspiration for your own space. And if you need more inspiration, you know, you can get your own design consultation completely free. So head over to the website to do that. We have right. one more that I'm so stoked about because this is like a triple whammy. Not only is our next uh, before and after going to be live with us, she's going to join us in a minute. She was an outer customer who did a design consultation and then became an outer employee. Tabitha, welcome. Look at hey, this. Hey, Tabitha, how are you doing? Happy Sunday. I'm great. Yeah, happy Sunday. This is so awesome. How's where are you? Where you're? You're in Dallas, right? Yeah, I'm in North Dallas today. Yeah. How's the weather? It's it's a little cloudy, but you know it's nice because um, I don't have a covered area where where I am, so it, it makes me where I'm not too squinty. But I'm on the, I'm oh, on good. The yeah, you got that. <laughs> you got that nice even glow lighting. It's perfect. Oh yeah. Can I give me a minute, baby? My daughter just came out. She's like, "Can you make me a snack?" No, not right now. Thanks for asking. Um, so, Tabitha, I love. I would love for you to share with everybody because this story is so cool. Number one, how you even were introduced to outer to get your own outer for your own space, and then how you ultimately became an employee. <laughs> so cool. Yeah, so it's so funny. I think Darren made a comment that he was looking on the careers page, like while he was watching the live stream, and um, I've been there. So I, that's how I got started. I mean, I kept seeing everything that y'all see, Facebook ads and Instagram. And I was like, I need some new outdoor furniture. Just built a new house. Like I need to, need to find something beautiful to go outside. And um, I saw Orly and Terry on a live stream. And I was like, I love these people. Like I need to go work with them. They are just amazing. So sure enough, I did the same thing you are, Darren. I was on the careers page and I was like, oh, I can do this. And here I am. I now work for Outer and I have my own Outer. I, so Tabitha, did you I do just, a consult with uh, Sarah Ann? I did one with Ali, actually. Uh, another Ali. one of our design okay. consultants. Yeah, um, he did a great job. I mean, he... The, one of the questions that he asked me and, I, and one of the questions that we would ask you if you if you wrote in or we called you or talked about a design consultation is how many people do you want seating for and you know i have a husband and two kids and two dogs so you know for us we definitely needed four butts and seats so we ended up getting we actually got a five piece set so um our dogs can have the chairs and then the family sits on the couch <laughs> Well, Tabitha, would you show us what your space looked like before? Like, what are the photos that you sent over to the team over at Outer um, to show kind of your before space? And what was not working for you? Yeah, so I'm so embarrassed to even show these photos, y'all. But before <laughs> we had, um, you know, it was really a placeholder for us. Like, we decided we were like, let's just get something inexpensive, something that we can just haul around, whatever we need. And 
it was wicker and we thought it looked good on the internet and then i think we got it and it was you know the cushions are about two inches thick they in this texas oh. weather they just blew off i mean the slightest like gust of wind these cushions would be in somebody else's yard and it was so <laughs> frustrating i couldn't I was like, what do I do? And y'all, and they still had Velcro on the bottom of them. I mean, how were they still oh, blowing wow. off? And it was, they weighed like two ounces, you know, they, they, it was so frustrating. Um, and I know so, you said uh, also that the cushions were originally, uh, when you bought them, not that long ago, a dark charcoal color. And they just, yes. <laughs> poof, all the color faded. What color are they now? They all got kind of cream, maybe a light gray. I know. Yeah, they're like a very light gray, but like in the middle of the cushion, they're white almost. And then it sort of gets gray on the outside. I'm like, thank you, son. But, you know, I mean, again, it's just one of those things that you buy something as a placeholder or you buy something that's not going to be the right quality. And then yeah. you realize you're kicking yourself in the, you know, in the butt afterwards because you're just going to have to replace it. So, um, yeah. you know, that was what Taba, I, think, I wanted something I nice. think that so many people... So many people watching probably relate to that. I know I've done that before where you see something and at first glance it looks good and you're like, geez, well, I mean, this is great. Look, and it's super cheap and it looks awesome. And then it's not until you really live with it over and over that all of its flaws start revealing themselves to you and you ultimately don't even use it. So I think that so many people have probably have been in the situation you are where it looks good, but then when you really live with it, it's not. Um, so I totally, I totally relate. Can we take a look at some of the designs that were sent over to you as far as a few different options for configurations? Yeah, so um, as you can see, like right here, um, the one on the right hand side is the where we ended up going is the five piece with the couch and the two armless chairs. But the other one that I do still love is that sectional. And just like Terry was talking about yeah. this, you know, that corner piece is really for laying down. So I even add my two armchairs to the side here when my husband and I just want to lay on opposite sides whenever the kids aren't jumping on us. Um, and we, we <laughs> move that. around a good bit. Yeah. You know, so I was going to take gonna a look at what... Oh. Yeah, 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 go, go Terry. Just, go. Uh, Tabitha, with what you said, I thought is really important because it is really kind of core to, to who we are, which is... Uh, I read an article in Fortune and it was uh, from the CEO of a company called American Giant. They do sweatshirts. And then he said something really interesting. He said, you know, if you look back in the 80s, uh, the um, annual spend on footwear and apparel for a family of four was, I think, around $1,600. And I forget what the number of pieces was. It was like 85 or something like that. And then you look fast forward today, um, and that same amount, you get double the amount of clothes. And it's because of the rise of like fast fashion, fast everything, including fast furniture so tabitha like with the stuff that you got you know after a season you said the uh the cushions faded and you know like that's something we don't want to do we care much more about quality because you know when you think about sustainability the more stuff that we make cheaply means that that stuff is going to end in the landfill a lot faster so you know our the, the way we design is we don't design for obsolescence we are trying to design the best we can so it lasts the longest so it, uh, it doesn't have to go in the landfill um, as fast as some of these other things that may go in the landfill. Yeah. Um, Tabitha, can we uh, take a sneak peek at your house now? I'm dying to see the like full effect. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Very nice. Tabitha. So that yes. is the three piece with the conversation set, the three piece sofa with the conversation set. And that's the the teak square leg coffee table, right? Square leg. Yeah, it's square, the large, yeah, the right. large one, and I love it, y'all. It is. I mean, it fits the whole couch, and it's perfect because you can set. Everybody can set their drinks on it. Um, it's it's huge. I love it. It's it's the best coffee table. I almost put it inside whenever I got it because I just love it so much. <laughs> it looks amazing. I have to say, when, I mean, when I oh, go, go ahead, really. I was just gonna say, are you are you finding that you're using it in exactly the way that you thought you would now that it's all situated? Like, has it increased the amount of time you're spending in your outdoor space? Oh yeah, I mean, the only thing that I didn't see was that my son was gonna use it to jump on. Um, he jumped <laughs> off the off the table onto the couch. That that I didn't see that happening, but. Um, Yes, I mean, this, this brought the whole space together. It really completed our whole space is just having this coffee table. And, you know, I mean, Terry can speak to it, but, you know, I listen to Terry talk about this stuff all the time. And 
whenever he was talking about the way it's going to patina over time and how it's going to match the wicker. And it already looks gorgeous. So I can't wait till it even continues to get that gray look to it and become more beautiful. That's very cool. Your space looks amazing. Thank you. And I know you, you decided to go for the white, which people thought you were crazy because you have dogs and you have kids. But you have said that it's been, you have a couple of ways that you actually take care of it that's kept it like easy peasy. Can you share those with us? Because I'm getting the white aluminum for my porch. So I need all your tips and tricks. Yes, I I was like, I'm going for it. I got the swatches. I tested them with red wine because that's what I drink when I'm sitting outside. And I was able to get it right out. So my tips and tricks have been anytime I've gotten a spot on this, I, I just get a, a little dollop of Tide Free and Clear, warm water, and a rag, and I just spot clean it. I mean, it comes right out. I have had nothing stay. Um, and then my other trick, and I love to tell this one because people don't really think about it, but I have an electric leaf blower that I just, I just blow off the pollen or anything like that. Anything that could stick, I think just having that leaf blower, yeah. blowing it off, keeps them that this beautiful bright cream color um yeah those, those are my tips and tricks i think everybody should get the cream it's my favorite and uh so funny with all the other design consultants we have every time somebody's like thinking about the cream they send them over to me so i can um give yeah, them all the tips and tricks. i love that i love that so much are you uh tabitha will you stay for a little q a with us because i'm sure we'll have some questions oh. on the design consultations and you're the perfect person to answer that. So let's take a look at our first question. All right, this one comes from Georgette Castilian. How long have you had your beautiful outdoor space furniture? Your beautiful outdoor spaces furniture. I think just I how long have you had it? That's the question. Yeah, I've had it since February. So it actually went through some crazy things here in Dallas uh, with uh, Snowmageddon and uh, a couple of hailstorms. And y'all, you you never know it. Awesome. Yeah, the, 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 awesome. the collection actually just launched in spring, so uh, no one will have had it that long. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at our next question. Ooh, my neighbors are having a party. Can you hear that music? All right, Melissa Peabody. I have a dog that is a couch potato. Oh, I love him already. Our current lounge setup, he can't get on due to the dirt. I saw the candy test that you did. What about Looster? Does it brush off? Thanks from me and my pup. I'll let Tabitha, oh, yeah. I feel like you probably are the right one to answer this. Sure. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I go, I go with that every day. My dogs are jumping around in our yard and then they come and get on the couch. Cause same thing. My dog Wally is a couch potato. Um, but again, I just use the leaf blower. I think the leaf blower is like the best thing to get dirt off, uh, you know, occasionally, but then you just wipe it clean. Just patting it just like you would, you know, fluffing up cushions, I think has just gotten, you know, loose dirt right off. The, yeah, the yeah, great thing about that. the the uh, yeah the leaf blower is that you know oftentimes when you do get a stain, um, um, you grab a rag and you you rub it, you try to rub it out, and uh, it'll, it's only just pushing that whatever that stain is deeper yeah. into it. So I think the uh, the leaf blower idea is genius. Yeah, it's so good. It's so good. All right, let's take a look at our next question. This one is from Robert Cruz. What's the best way to clean outer furniture? Can it be hosed down with water or can the cloth be removed for laundry machines? Terry, this is all you. Yeah, uh, the best way to clean it. So the, the, there's the frame and then there's the fabric. Um, one, my fabric, I actually have never cleaned it ever. And I've had mine since uh, the beginning of 2019. Um, I do have it covered all the time and I do have the all weather cover. and. It has never gone through the wash, so uh, it stays nicely protected. It can be thrown in the wash uh, to, to clean it, um, or you can spot clean it. For the frame, uh, super easy. It's uh, You just have to hose it off, and if you um, if you do, you can also just make like a, a, a like a soap mixture between like one part soap, three parts of uh, water, and just scrub it down and then hose it off and let it air dry. And uh, you can do the same thing for all of our collections. If you have a little bit of fatigue and all of them. So it's super easy and uh, low maintenance. Yeah, that's the best part about outer. It's low maintenance across the board. And those all weather covers, by the way, are back in stock. So if anybody was considering them, all weather covers, which are incredible, are, uh, are back. Let's take a look at the next question. All right, this one comes from Kat 
awesome information you're giving. You have covers for the winter. Look at that. I jumped the gun. <laughs> Terry, do you want to answer yeah. that one? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, uh, so now, right? uh, That's right. They are back. They are selling out pretty quickly. So uh, if you're interested, make sure to get it. Um, it seems like uh, we've had trouble keeping things in stock. So, uh, you know, the longer you wait, the, the less likely you'll be able to get it quickly. Yeah, it's a good problem to have when people are obsessed with the product so much that it's like sells out, sells out. It's a cool thing. Um, all right, let's see. Do we have another question or should we be moving on? We'll hold for just a second. And if not, I am going to... Ah, one more. Elizabeth Martin, do you recommend yeah. being inside for the winter? Which, uh, what do you guys think? Carrie, you want to take that yeah. one? Yeah, so it really depends on where you live. Um, uh, I live in San Francisco, though what, I don't get the extreme weather as other places, but it does rain. Um, I don't take my cushions in. I just have the all-weather cover and I just leave it on. And uh, it, yeah. it suits it. It's perfectly fine. Um, you know, if you are living somewhere where you do have the ability to bring the cushions in and you don't, don't have the all-weather cover, um, I would suggest if you, if you have the space, bring it inside just because it's just a way to extend the life of your, um, your investment. Yeah. And Tabitha, I know you live in an area, obviously, which much, much more extreme weather than, you know, Terry and I are, are getting. What do you do? Do you bring it inside or do you have the all-weather cover? No, I just, I don't even have the cover. I'm, I've just left it outside. And like I said, I, I had this wicker in February whenever we had a snowstorm and it held up beautifully. That's amazing. Did you just yeah, take I the outer mine... shell to throw the snow off? And so snow, I took there? my cushions yeah. in. I do take my cushions. Okay. I, I don't leave my okay. cushions out. Um, well, I leave my cushions out, but not when it snowed. Um, I didn't think we were gonna get that much snow, but I do take my cushions inside, but the wicker, I mean, y'all, Two hailstorms and a snowmageddon later, you it's perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, I do the same. I've never moved to the frame, obviously. The frame I leave because it's got like an insane yeah. lifespan on it. But the cushions, if we are going to get a ton of rain, I do close them up and I throw them in the guest house here, just like you said, to, to keep them protected. If we get a light drizzle, the outer shell does the trick. But when I know we're really going to get dumped on, I make sure to bring those That's inside. Right. Um, all right, well, I just want to uh, give everyone a couple little bits of info uh, that's specific to today's out uh, today's live stream. So we have a sale going on. It's going to be the Memorial Day sale. And like I said, it's going to be available to everybody in a few days. But because you guys are here and we love you so much, we're giving you all early access to it. So the code for the Memorial Day sale will be MD21. We'll throw up a graphic right now that's Every, that's the breakdown of the huge sale that's going on, which is very, very cool. So if you guys want and you're interested, you'll have access right now way before anybody else. And as we've talked about sort of time and time again, things sell out super fast. So if there is something that you're considering and you want to be getting those new pieces and you're you know excited about it, I would go ahead and do that now and save with MD21. And then we also have the giveaway. The giveaway is coming up at the very end of the show. We save it for the end because it's such a fun little nugget. You guys will be able to pick either the wicker or the teak right there. That is the conversation set. You get to pick whichever one you want. It's up to a $3,100 value, which is so awesome. And it really is whether it's going to be these two pieces or whether these two pieces sort of jumpstart your outer collection. It's really an awesome thing. So make sure that you guys stay tuned to the end. And I know sometimes we get questions where people find the live stream and they ask, how do you enter? For future reference, we promote throughout the week uh, and really the month leading up to every live stream. And there's a registration link. When you sign up with the registration link, not only do you receive the link for the actual live stream, but your email is automatically entered into the giveaway. So you have to actually do that registration link to be entered. So just so you guys know for next month, we do them every month. So it's never too late um, to join. Tabitha, thank you so much for joining us. It was so fun to have you. Thank y'all so and much. I'm so this glad you're part of the I team. love telling my story. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Terry and Orly. It was y'all. Y'all did it. I, I want to virtually you, high five you, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Tabitha. Thank you. Have a beautiful Sunday. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. Yeah. I just think, Terry, that's like the coolest thing ever to think that she was part of one of our live streams and then was like, they seem like fun. I want to work with I them. know. You know, it's funny, we've actually had quite a few stories of uh, customers that have become more than customers. We've had a number of customers that have actually become investors in Outer, which is wild. Really? 
That is super cool. I mean, that's really saying something. That's really saying something. I love that. Oh my gosh, how fun. Okay, we are about to move on. Um, in a minute, we are gonna reveal the brand new product collection, a sneak peek, but I just want to touch on something that we talked about briefly at the top about the aluminum collection. So in our, our live stream last month, we revealed the aluminum. It was the dark mode, it was very mysterious, this brand new collection made in aluminum. And as a thank you, you know, we appreciate so much that you guys are here with us and that you sit with us, whether on a Sunday or whenever it is, and we always like to have things uh, thank yous and you know uh, showing our appreciation so the whole team at outer reserved a large amount of sets just for everyone on the live stream that would have access to them it was a big amount but they were reserved for like immediate kind of delivery basically they're all being delivered now within 48 hours every single piece sold out terry did you expect that at all because when you texted me that i like almost dropped my phone <laughs> Because it was a lot. No, I had no idea. Yeah. Well, I had no idea. We had, uh, we had talked about the marketing strategy and like people think about furniture that way. We don't know. Let's try it. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, we, uh, we had plenty of uh, pent up demand for it. Yeah. I, th I just love that. I think it's really cool to see that. Um, I don't know that the, the, sort of wanting to, to say thank you and wanting to give this exclusive thing was was um, received so well to the point that literally they just completely sold out. But don't worry, they are back in stock June 3rd. So in a couple of weeks, they're back in stock. And those of you that might have missed the aluminum collection that do that, you know, you want one, you can still get it June 3rd. So don't worry about that. <gasps> Hi. Oh, my goodness. You got a buddy. My daughter, Piper. I do. This is Piper. Piper, what's she, going uh, on? It's Sunday. She, she can't hear. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi, she Piper. decided to just jump in and say hello. I gotta say, she her outfit is the perfect segue. I know she she matches exactly. She matches. Um, Terry, will you reveal? We are giving a sneak peek at the brand new line right. of products available by Outer. What are they? Yeah, so you know, um, for those of you that know what we've done, we've done lots of furniture, and this is our first or dipping our toe into textiles and what you see behind Morley and me is our uh, start of a an accent pillow and uh so you know when we we're designing it there's a couple things that we thought um one it was that anyone can be a good interior designer when you when you look at nice spaces it often does it, it comes to like how well uh everything coordinates the textiles the color the patterns and what we wanted to do was design a collection that made anyone be a really good um, interior or exterior designer. So what we've done is we've took, taken the inspiration of, of kind of like timeless patterns. So uh, color black, or uh, when you think about the patchwork, we kind of took that as the inspiration. And we took um, a palette of five different colors. So you can see there's a, a stripe, a dark navy, a white, a dark gray, and like a camel color. And what we did was uh, we basically patchworked it together so that uh, you can basically um, mix and match however you want. And it doesn't matter what you do, it's all going to work because all the colors work together. Um, and then the other thing that's nice is uh, for those that don't like pattern, you also can just turn it around. If, and you can kind of like minimize the pattern. Um, so, uh, that yeah, that's so much. That's the nice thing. Oh, one second. My Siri just it on. Oh, to me, to me, cool thing. I mean, it's every time there's a new, like, there's all these details, this like the multiple steps of thinking that you've gone through for the sort of consumer, the person at the end who's actually going to be experiencing it. So I love number one, the fact that all of the colors and the patterns really do mix together so well so that they can play together and you can have something that feels cohesive without being matchy matchy. I think that's amazing. I love so much personally, the fact that they're reversible because having the solid, you can play where you can mix printed and solid. You could do just double solid. And all of them are different. Like you, this one has the gray. This one has the tan, <laughs> right? So all these That's different, right. I find that to be amazing. And then one of the other things I want to show this um, real quick that I think is so cool is I, all of my previous outdoor pillows um, don't have zippers. So I can't wash them. These are an insert, right? So it's got a really nice seamless zipper. You can pull them right out and this could go yep. in the wash so that it's always gonna stay nice and clean. 
I do want Terry, if you don't mind, because this is the information that I know resides in your brain, the explanation about the fabrics and why they're so like color fast, like they won't fade. There's something about the dyeing process that you guys do. Oh my God, I love Piper stealing your AirPods. This is perfect. This is awesome. <laughs> I have two pairs of iPods here. She thought she could put another set in to here, but she can't. <laughs> so yeah, um, <laughs> you know, for outdoor, there's a couple things. If uh, any of you had tuned in uh, two months ago, we had Coco Cozy on and she talked about having yes. too many pillows and too many poles. And one of the things she said was, uh, you know, like, I don't take any of my pillows inside. Uh, and with these pillows, you don't have to. They um, have yeah. the same performance characteristics as all of our fabrics. So a 2000 hour UV light fast rating. Um, so uh, like yeah. they're, they're designed for the outdoors. And then, you know, uh, as she said about the too many pillows, the idea that we did was, you know, uh, our first collection, it does come where you get the, the actual cover and the insert. But uh, uh, what we want to do is um, as we launch new, uh, new uh, SKUs or colorways, it's that we don't want you to buy the, uh, the insert anymore. Just buy the cover, and then going back to probably like yeah. four months ago, really, it's like who wants to have extra pillows when it takes up a lot of space? We just yeah. want you to be able to yeah. swap in and swap out the patterns and not worry about actually taking up the space other than just the cover itself. So you know, this is kind of like the base collection, and as we launch new ones, just take the cover off, put a new one on, and your space is going to look uh, refreshed. Yeah, yeah, I love that. And we were just looking at some photos of your space and now these are photos of my space with the pillows. And it's so funny, I had set it up like this and then when I saw your photos, I was like, wait a minute, I like the way they look together. So then when we actually got here today, I had switched it because I like the stack. <laughs> I have mine all separated. Yeah. I've got one on my armchair. I've got them in the corner. I kind of had them sporadic. And then I saw yours and I bit your style and sort of stole it. But that's my, you know, for, for those that don't know and haven't seen, I started off with a conversation set and a three piece sofa. And over time I've added, we spend so much time out here. This is like a sanctuary that I've just added pieces and added pieces to really create a configuration that works for us. And this is like nap zone 101 for us. This is exactly where we hang. Um, it's, it's, it's amazing. And I just saw something I want to mention because I had never thought of this, a comment I just saw scroll by that someone was saying is a really cool tip for protecting their seats when they have dogs. You know that it's really easy to clean, but what one of them was saying that they do is they take their, the outer shell and they just roll it like this to cover the seat, but not the cushion. So then they can have the dogs up here. Again, it's so easy to clean that you might not even need to do that, but I'd never heard of that before. Isn't that a, isn't that a good way of using the outer that shell? That is cool. Yeah, I've never I know, even right? thought about that. That's a great suggestion. Yeah, I think that's such a smart, that's like such a smart, cool thing. I love when we get those amazing yeah. ideas. I would love to see if we have any um, questions maybe about this new product, because now is the time. You've got the man who uh, knows all the things. Let's see if we have any. All righty. The first question, it looks slightly cut off on my screen, but it looks like, um, will the cushions hold up in hot direct sun? Yeah, they do. Um, I, it depends on what you're talking about. One, the sun, uh, they are designed to withstand 2000 UV light fast hours. And that's just a test that uh, is done in the industry to see like what the highest rating is. The 2000 hours is the longest that they actually do the test for. And um, it just tells, tells you that our Cushions are basically fade resistant to the highest level that is being tested. Yeah. Shocker. Everything you guys do is to the highest level of whatever that thing can be. It's like, <laughs> I'm so used to that now. All right, let's take a look at our next question. All right. Is it covered on your end? Getting, it's covered on my end, yeah. Um, Sam, the Can't questions are being cropped, and right now we can't even see the question. I can see that it's from Michelle Rom, but I can't see the question. There we go. Is the insert washable as well? Do you know the answer to uh, that? You can wash the insert. Yeah. Oh, it, yeah, it is, it is washable. Uh, yeah, so the, the actual cover is made with polypropylene, and the inside is a blown uh, polyester fill. Um, you can wash it. I don't think there really is much need to wash it. Um, yeah. you know, I've gotten mine wet. And you just put it out and let it dry. So uh, I don't foresee a need, but yes, it can be washed. Very cool. All right, let's see if we have another question. Uh, 
I like the awkward pause that you and I engage in in between questions. All right, Agostino, what is the expected useful life of the set? What is the one expected second. useful life of the set? Oh, yeah, give question. me one second. <laughs> my uh, Piper walked off with my headset, and now it went off. <laughs> Of course. So if you guys had any doubt that this wasn't in fact live, uh, it is. Um, I'm, I'm not sure I understand the question exactly. Um, yeah, uh, I'll try to answer that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, if you're talking about the, the, uh, the, the sofa itself, uh, it should last, I would say, easily five to ten years. And I say that because it depends on, um, you know, like what kind of conditions that uh, where you live. Um, yeah. I can tell you that uh, when the when we first designed the sofa, and right now I'm talking about the all weather wicker. Um, this is back in 2018. As soon as we actually had the samples done, uh, we stuck it on the roof of the, the factory, and right. uh, the location of the factory. <laughs> this is, I love this so much. This is just like real life right now. So yeah, the, we left. We, it's been sitting on the the, t the roof of the factory, and uh, the conditions at the factory. Um, it does have all four seasons: really cold uh, winters, uh, really hot even summers, and then you know, summers and falls are kind of like you, you would expect. So um, yeah, it yeah. is designed basically all the materials that we we've done, and if we're talking about the all weather wicker sofa. There's 26 components to it. it is, we actually looked at every single piece and made sure that uh, the selections of the materials are of the highest quality. Wonderful, wonderful. Let's see if we have another question. All righty. Oh, that was the same one. Here we go. Tommy, how many pillows would you recommend for a three piece sofa? Hmm. I feel like Personally, I would do, it depends on whether you like the stack look. There are the lumbar pillows, which I think are really nice to go in that center seat. So if you imagine that this was a three piece and you sort of put this one in the middle and then you could have the stack. I think it that was very much a design thing. You could very easily get away with three. You have one in each corner and one in the middle. So you have kind of a nice anchor. If you like the stacked look though, like this, you could obviously have just two on either side and have the center open. I wouldn't do more than four. I think that would get a little busy. But I do think uh, having your ends anchored and potentially something in the center is really nice. And obviously, because the collection is color blocked in this way that matches really well, you could sort of pick. There's variations, you know, three different sizes, and you can pick whichever one's going to work really nicely for you. If you do the stack like this, I do think doing the larger and then the slightly smaller one is a nice way to go. So you've got a little balance there. Uh, let's take a look at our next question. Terry, we lost your audio. So Allison Kent, does the metal ever rust? Now I know this because when I was first introduced to outer, I went up on the roof and I got the full explanation of all things. And because I was so obsessed, I retained quite a bit of that info. So even though Terry can't take this one, I'm going to, I know that they're powder coated. And so they're powder coated steel and they do not rust. When Terry comes back on, he'll probably know the exact time frame of how long that goes for. But I know that the entire bottom had this like, the, the legs themselves are powder coated and then also the metal frame on the inside, which has like something crazy, like a 500 pound weight limit. Um, all of the details have really been thought through. Um, Terry, are you back with us? We're not hearing you. He's probably about to show us the legs, which I can do as well. Um, but I'm sure he has more details than I do. Nope, still not hearing you. So I'm going to show you the legs for those that have never seen them and that want to see what they look like. I'm going to bring you over here. So these are the metal legs. And when you buy the all weather wicker, this is the only installation that's need to be done. These get screwed into the bottom. That's it. When you buy the teak and the aluminum, it comes all as one piece and there's no installation. But this is the part that's powder coated. So it will stay rust free, which is a beautiful thing. And obviously if you get the um, all weather cover, which like we said, are back in stock. The all weather cover also does, um, protect it because it wraps around the bottom and has this Velcro so that the whole thing stays really, really tight to the bottom. So it keeps it even more protected in intense weather. Let's give a, a test to see if Terry's back with us. No. 
Um, I'm going to just ask real quick, Sam, to make sure that it's not my audio issue and that you guys are also not hearing him just because I want to make sure with that. We're just chatting right now with, uh, yeah, okay. So uh, Sam is saying it's just Terry, um, uh, unfortunately an issue with his audio. But listen, while Terry's trying to reconnect, I want to give you guys a reminder about the Memorial Day sale and then we're going to do the uh, giveaway unless we have any more questions. So just a reminder while we're, we're working on Terry's, the Memorial Day sale is going to be active for you and only you for the next few days before everyone else has access to it. So you guys can head over to the website if you use the code MD21, then you will have access to the sale. If we can throw up that graphic, there we go. This is what's available on the sale. So this is applied to every order on the site, which is really wonderful. And you guys can get early access onto that sale right now, just because you are here and you're joining us. We're gonna do the giveaway in just a minute. A reminder for that, that's the uh, conversation set, which you guys will get to pick in either Wicker or Teak, whoever wins. But I know we do have another question. So let's take a look and see if it's something that maybe I can answer. Alrighty, Diane McLeod, is the teak resistant to termites? Now, I have a feeling that's going to be a Terry question. I do know from everything that I've learned about the teak collection that it is the highest, highest, highest level of teak. There's all these different variations and it has the highest level of it. So you are going to, it has like a really, really long lifespan compared to any other teak that you're going to use, which is an amazing thing. Um, I'll see if we get Terry back to talk specifically about the termites. Um, if not, we can always answer that question in the comment section. Let's take a look at the next one. All right. I spend a lot of time working outdoors. How comfortable is the furniture after a long day? Oh, Anna, I got this. I freaking got this. This is this nook right here. Can I just, this is like, it is the most comfortable sofa in the world. The cushions, the, so I don't know if you guys know this, but Terry worked at Casper was one of the places he worked, which is a furniture, I mean, a mattress company. And he used actually some of the technology in the mattress company in order to create these cushions. So on the inside, it's got this, like they're beefy. That's why one of the reasons why they are super heavy, just like Tabitha was talking about, they don't blow away. They're really beefy and heavy, which is amazing. They are like, interior furniture cushions, but outside. So these, I always feel like the seat is slightly more dense, which feels amazing. And then the actual backs are a little bit more smushy, but they are absolutely the most comfortable. When my parents came over and saw our outdoor sofa, they ended up buying the full, they almost have the exact same size as me, the full L because they saw it and they were like, oh, and the all weather, I mean, the um, outer shell was their big sell, but it is super, super comfy. Yeah, All right, know. let's see if we have another question. There we go. Yeah. You're back. Oh, God. Sorry, I have to tell you. Here's what happened. Piper was playing with my AirPods, and I don't know I what can't. she did, but she messed everything up, and I couldn't actually hear anything anymore. <laughs> so uh, sorry about that. I apologize. Uh, no, don't worry. So, uh, don't worry. There was one, oh, okay. there was one yeah. question, Terry, that I couldn't answer, and I would love to know if you have the answer. Is the teak resistant to termites? It is. Yeah, teak is... Uh, there's basically a high level of oil and silica in it. So the actual uh, termites actually, it, it is basically pest resistant. So it is, it's, uh, you won't have problems with termites. And then uh, I know I and heard, there was I one. Yeah. Go, I was, uh, was talking about the, 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 the metal, yeah. Uh, the legs are uh, cast in steel. And uh, uh, for many of you, you know that there is stainless steel that after a while uh, does actually rust. Ours does not. Um, we actually have done a, a post process to the legs after we've done the grinding and polishing, where it basically removes the um, the iron ore that's on the surface of it, and that's actually what causes like the, the rust color to happen. So um, it's basically our our um, surface of our cast stainless steel legs are absent of iron, which makes it rust resistant. I live uh, really close to the the, the beach, and uh, I've not had any problems with mine, and everything else in my backyard does rust. Got it. Per perfect. Perfect. I know we have another question, so let's take a look at that one. All righty. This question comes from Everest. Lindsay, I'm starting fresh, building a deck and a pool at the same time and found your website. Looking forward to working with you. Oh, that's a lovely comment. 
How exciting. I hope, Everest, if you haven't already done a design consultation, I hope you'll do it. Maybe you'll end up with Tabitha or Sarah Ann. You never know who you'll get, but it's a totally free service. You can take photos or even drawings of what your space is looking like if you're just in the construction phase right now. Even those drawings and kind of a layout of what the plan is, the team at Outer can help give you a really great design consultation for what will work in your space. So hopefully you'll do that. Let's see, do we have any more questions? Trish Howard, how deep is the outer furniture? Do short people have a problem with sitting on the chair, having back support, and being able to keep their feet on the ground all at the same time? Do you need to have a bunch of extra pillows? Well, Great I can question. show you <laughs> yeah. right now. Let's see if I can make this far back enough. Well, I don't know if I can, actually. Let's see. I'm trying to show it here. So I'm 5'4". My feet are, my back is against the pillow, and my feet are flat on the ground. So flat on the ground, there's my outer rug, BT dubs, highly recommend it if you don't have one, and my back's against the pillow. So I don't know if you can see that, if I'm showing that accurately. And I'm 5'4". I can, I can talk a little Do bit you know about that. Like, uh, Yeah, the yeah. Uh, ergonomics is a really big piece of uh, like how it was designed. So um, I, I use a formula. I don't know if it's actual, uh, a real formula, but I call it like Aries Gold. And it basically is if you measure the back of your heel to the back of your knee, and then the back of your knee to kind of like where your your like your, your hip bone is, um, you'll you'll know what that measurement is. And uh, we use that uh, for like how we design our sofas. So anything that is like if it's thirty eight inches, um, it's way too shallow. So taking the measure like back of heel, back of knee, back of knee, thirty eight is like uh, when you sit in it, it's not going to be very comfortable. And then somewhere in between, like we always say, like thirty eight to forty one is uncomfortable. Forty one to forty three is what we think is like ideal for anyone five two to six two and with that mm. it is it is like having the pillows does help with giving you some lumbar support and then once you get beyond 43 inches so like 44 and deeper um it's actually not as comfortable unless you want to like really like lean back like you are actually yeah. using your core muscles because you are leaning back so far to to try to hold yourself up so uh it is designed yeah. to to suit people between five two and six two really comfortably yeah Perfect. Uh, well, let's see. I think we've got our last question. Let's take a look. Alrighty, this one's from Bonnie Morris. Does the all-weather wicker legs? Does the all-weather wicker legs are soft to wood patios? Oh, I think she's I, just I think asking: Are means, the yeah. legs soft? Will they scratch? Yeah, I'll scratch the patio. Yeah. Yes. So uh, the actual metal will not touch the surface. We actually do have an elastomer um, uh, cap that goes on the bottom. Um, so that is to prevent um, scratching and marring of your surfaces. Nice. Of course, of course you thought of it all. Um, all right, guys, I think that's our last question. So I think it is officially time for the winner of the combination set. And this winner is going to get to choose whether they want the all weather wicker or the teak, which is very exciting. Let's take a look at the winner. Congratulations, Rebecca Burns. And Congratulations. Amazing. I love it so much. I can't wait to hear what you end up doing, the teak or the wicker. You got to keep us posted and make sure to tag Yeah, let us know. Yeah, I'm dying to know. Guys, I want to say thank you to everybody for being here with us. It's such a fun thing that we get to do. We look forward to doing this every month. And every time we see your comments coming in and all of you here joining us, it just really means the world and all your thoughtful questions and nice comments. We're seeing all of it. So thank you so much. We have another amazing one planned next month. And a reminder to those who didn't win the giveaway this time, all you have to do is sign up with that registration link. It will automatically enter you into the giveaway and then you can join us for another fun one. And we'll see whether we keep them on a weekend. I kind of liked it. I've got music on in the background with my neighbors. It's like a party. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. So nice to hang out with you again this month, Orly, and I look forward to seeing you next month. Yeah. All right, you guys. Same here. Have a beautiful week. We'll see everybody soon. Take care. See ya.